This is the largest uh, collaborative project probably that BC's ever seen and definitely for mule deer it, it is the largest project. A group of wildlife scientists and conservationists are working to solve the declining number of mule deer. Nobody can really tell us the reason and so that's what we're here to do is to investigate using science and figure out what's driving mule deer declines. The original herd that we got quite concerned about was the boundary herd and that uh, historically was the most productive herd in the province and now it's uh, just a shadow of its former self. Mule deer are kind of an icon in southern BC. There's been a lot of concern over the species. I know for people who are consumptive users, i.e. hunters, that's their food. Like they go out and hunt mule deer and they want mule deer to be sustainable. And the other thing is, is that they're an indicator that shows us that we're doing right by our ecosystems. We're looking to call our 30 adult does per year in each study area and then 20 fawns. And what we want to know is kind of how they're moving across the landscape, uh, what's killing them, what habitat, how the habitat's affecting our deer population. So we don't know what, what's driving the mortality so far, but that's why we hire these great people from UBCO and U of Idaho and they can give us those kind of answers. At this point, we have a bunch of different ideas about what might be driving the decline. You know, the absence of fire from the ecosystem is one of those potential drivers. But we also see a lot more white-tailed deer in the system. They prefer disturbed habitats, old forests, and white-tails feed predators. Predators also eat mule deer. Fire for deer is a really good thing, we think, because it produces a lot of deer food. It, when that forage regrows, it's really high quality and very abundant, and that's great for deer. Our first step is to identify you know, which of these various factors on the landscape are driving the declines, and then that will allow us to then you know, plan, plan an action that will help stop the decline of mule deer and hopefully bring them back. The project will take five years to complete with the goal of recommendations on how to restore mule deer populations and habitat. For Cassinet News, I'm Elena Kelly in Peachland.